हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ट्रांजिस्टर आज टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क लेट्स विगेन टू स्टडी ट्रांजिस्टर आज ए टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ए पोर्ट So port is nothing but uh, a pair of terminals through which a current may enter. और लीव में एंटर और लीव द नेटवर्क इज नोन एज पोर्ट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पोर्ट examples for one port network one port network here two terminal devices the devices as register capacitor or inductor or one port network for register this is a register this is one terminal let one another terminal as one dias current entering i current leave i according to our definition pair of terminals through which a current may enter or leave that network is known as port it has one pair so that type of network is known as one port network similarly for inductor as well as capacitor for inductor it has two terminal let the terminal is two another terminal has two prime the current entering and current leave similarly for capacitor next example as two port network two port network here it has four such terminals and two pairs of terminals two 
टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क हाव टू सेपारेट पेयर्स दैट इज फोर टर्मिनल्स एंड टू टू पेयर्स and is four terminals or two pairs terminals two pairs of terminals means four and a network we saw by using a black box the network can be represented by a black box the network is represented by black box for one port network that with the black box one port network two terminals named as one one prime entering current i leave current i the representation of the elements are under that of black box in black box the elements are present in that of black box we can't study the internal part but by analyzing the terminals we can say what be the basic characteristic of such elements present in that of network for that reason we use black box similarly for two port network if the black box is a two port network four terminals 1 2 3 4 the terminals are named as let 1 1 prime 2 2 prime current entering as i1 current leaving i1 in that terminal current entering let i2 current leaving as i2 that is a port as we say pair of terminals here is the input port input port that section 
pair of terminals called as port that one is output port and the potential on that of terminal as plus potential here is v1 the potential as v2 a well known sign convention is used in such kind of two port network the sign convention if current entering to that of terminal or to that of network then it is taken as positive sign if it is left then we assign the negative sign from the potential from upper terminal as positive lower one as negative there are four number of variables as v1 i1 i2 and v2 two variables for that of input port and two variables for that of output port in two port network it has four number of variables two variables at the input port that is v1 and i1 and two variables at the output port that is v2 and i2 these are the basic properties of two port network by analyzing these basic properties we can easily shown how transistor is said to be a two port network the examples of two port networks are transistors filters and transformers but our discussion object is a transformer we know transformer sorry our discussion object is transistor transistor is a three terminal device but uh, as taking into two port network it required four terminals so how we call transistor as a two port network in case of transistor the signal is applied to the input pair of terminals called input port again amplified signals
is taken from the pairs of output terminals called output port of the transistor amplifier question arises it is a three terminal device so how we perform that one by taking one of the terminal as common as transistor is a three terminal device three terminal device three terminal emitter base collector so one terminal is common to input and output therefore we have four terminals hence transistor as a two port network we represent it in that of black box transistor as two port network four terminals 1 2 3 means two ports this is input port that one is output port the current i1 potential v1 current i2 potential v2 so with the help of this video lecture you understand the concept of transistor as two port network what is a port examples of ports like one port network two port network as a transistor satisfy the basic properties of a two port network as a result we call transistor as a two port network okay so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you